Hello boys and girls! Today we're going to share some images of famous paintings and people copying them in real life. These are really fun, really fantastic, these very old paintings, and people dressing up to emulate the painting. Today we're doing something similar but we are actually repainting or redrawing the image. We won't be adding new props to the work, but we will look at the work, look for shapes, colors, lines, the way it's drawn or painted, and we are going to make our own copy. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be drawing from and trying to emulate or copy a famous painting. So I'd like to show you the Marilyn Monroe. This one's by Andy Warhol. These are actually screen printed. A little bit different than painting, but we could definitely paint it, draw and paint it. This one's fantastic. It's actually in the Art Museum in Milwaukee, and this is by um, Gabrielle Munter, and she is a German Expressionist. You can see all these really interesting paint lines in here and the expression shown in the paint strokes. This one is actually pretty flat, done in the 60s, and they use some gray tone in here. This might be interesting to do. Also this one. This is a Roy Lichtenstein. And it's actually a painting, kind of copied in a style like a comic book. You can't really see it through this camera, but all these tiny little dots are in here to emulate the look of a comic book. And this one's called Girl Crying. And, boys and girls, one of the most famous painters, probably, a post-impressionist. He's a Dutch painter. You all know Vincent van Gogh. And... You can see all the emotion within his paint strokes. And here he is holding his palette, his red hair. Boys and girls, you're going to choose a painting. I have a lot attached to this assignment. And you're going to try and break it up and recreate it. I think I'm going to try this one, firstly. I might do more than one. So boys and girls, you're definitely going to need a pencil, a piece of paper, a paint set, maybe some crayons also, pastels, anything you've got. All right, boys and girls, when you're looking at a piece of artwork, you really want to look for basic shapes. This is also in the Milwaukee Museum. This is another expressionist painting. You're going to look for shapes within your painting that you are going to copy. This one simply has an oval face, kind of a flattened oval here. This chest area is kind of squared off. Lines come down, kind of. You just sort of break it up into basic shapes. This one's a little interesting too. There's a lot of details here. There's also a Frida Kahlo I'm adding. This one has kind of a large triangular shape, hair, in black bold outlines. I don't think I'm going to do that one though. Can't decide. The Van Gogh would be wonderful to do. Lots of fun choices. The Marilyn Monroe. I think I'm going to do this German expressionist painting of this woman. I think her name is Mrs. Von Hartmann. And so when I look at it, I'm going to softly use my pencil to set it up. Now I'm not going to get a perfect copy, but it's not about perfection. It's just about getting your general feeling and ideas down. So it looks like this paper is kind of almost divided in half. This side is bigger than this. So I'm going to start with that line. And you kind of slowly build up with soft line. It doesn't go all the way through her. 
but I just wanted to divide this. This is the light blue section and the darker blue. And then, looks like her hat starts somewhere around here and it's tilted. So I'm just gonna have a tilted line. I'm not really committed to all these lines. I'm just trying to get the general feel for it. And then she has the brim of her hat, which is red. You, you will choose most likely a different drawing. Don't have to choose this one. But I thought it was kind of interesting because it has these bold, bold colors and bold shapes. And I probably already made this is too big, see? Too big. So I'm just gonna make this section a little smaller. And I think I should have to show this brim of a hat. Now, you can see when I'm sort of planning this out, I do a lot of backwards and forwards lines. I'm not completely committed to that. I might have to move it around. But that kind of gives me the general idea. I could make it smaller, erase parts. But that's really how you start to manage placing everything. Her head. It's right here, so about right here, I'm just going to draw. It's not quite an oval, but I want to get that oval shape down just so I can size it up. This is where her head's going to be, her neck, her shirt line, here's her ear, top of the head, hair comes down, she's got a lot of hair over here, kind of comes up. Remember, you're not going to get a perfect copy. And her hair comes down a little bit more on this side. It looks really block, blocky right now, but I really just want to get those basic shapes. Now her face kind of comes down here. She's got kind of a pointy chin. She's wearing like a collar, so it leaves space for a collar. A tie kind of comes down. And it looks like she's wearing a dress. This is quite an old painting. Women generally wore dresses. And here's her shirt coming down, skirt, coat. And I'm always just sort of softly drawing my lines. It takes a while to plot this out. Her shirt kind of ends down here, really close to the edge, or her coat. So I'll do the same. Let's see. I don't want to, you know, don't stress out if it's not exact. Just, you're just doing your best. And here's her coat line, and it kind of thins out and comes out over here. A couple buttons, I think, are like right there. Collar, collar, coat line. She looks very abstract right now. And her hand, her arm kind of comes down. I'm gonna move this paint set because I don't need it yet. And you don't have to paint her, would be nice, but it's not totally necessary. Okay, now I've got your basic shapes. Looks really strange, but I'm gonna go back into it and start adding my detail. So, boys and girls, once you've kind of blocked out the shapes and where they would sit on the paper, you're going to start going back into it with pencil and finalizing your lines. Just sort of connecting the top of the hat to the brim of the hat. I already have to move some things over. And you're really just going to look for those finer details to finish your work or finish your sketch. And there's a lot of blue line in here. I don't even know if I really have the proper materials to get that kind of look. I don't have oil paints or acrylic paints. I've got watercolors, oil pastels, and crayons. So I'm gonna try my best with what I've got. And here, just really refining the edges.
I'm just going to add her two eyebrows, the bridge of her nose, her eyelashes. I kind of like how I lay out the face, but later I end up using some really chunky pastels and it's hard to get details. So watch out with those pastels if you're using them. You might want to use crayon for some of your color or colored pencil or even paint, just watercolor paints. So as you can see, I'm just laying the drawing out and adding the coat line. It looks like it's a little bit lower and I have yet, I have to add the collar. Now that I'm going back into it, I see that there's a collar here. Her shirt line goes down. So boys and girls, in your work, you're really just going to be doing basically the same thing. First, blocking out your drawing or painting with larger shape and going back and forth, looking at the painting, then looking at your paper, laying down the line. Always drawing with your pencil very lightly because if you go too dark, it's really hard to erase it. So now that I've sort of plotted out the basic shape of her coat, now I really just want to add the detail a little bit more and make sure I add the collar line. You can see once you start laying parts of your drawing out, you might have to shift and move other things. So I think her coat line is a little bit lower than what I've got, but it's pretty close. And really you should be happy with being relatively close. Don't stress about trying to be perfect. I'm sure this might be the first time you've done it to copy a piece of art. And now that I am really looking at this, I see a little bit more detail. And the arm is a little high, so I'm going to drop this a little lower. And I'm going to start adding my color. So boys and girls, try to pick a piece that you're comfortable with. Don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. Remember, you can rely on your pencil and your eraser and now I'm going to start layering color and I think I'm really not really that happy with this material so I would say maybe avoid the pastels on really fine details. I probably should have used a crayon or colored pencil. All right boys and girls I hope you enjoy yourself take it easy take it slow and look for shapes and then build up on detail, then build up on color with whichever materials you've gotten. Thank you, boys and girls. Enjoy yourselves.